Toolp lets you record and store information from your frontline operation. Maybe you're recording the output of a station, the location of a work order, or and on events. With analytics and dashboards, Toolp lets you dynamically visualize data in real time. You'll be able to create interactive dashboards that you can navigate through and take actions on, or read-only reports that you can share with your team. Let's look into how they work. Before you can start visualizing data, you'll need some data in Toolp to work with. Data can be stored in Toolp tables, completion records, or machine activity history tables. Data from these sources can be used to create analytics or charts in Tulip. Charts can then be used in your Tulip applications or dashboards. Let's look at a simple example of a Pareto chart to see how it works. Here we have an application that is logging defects by location, with the data being stored to a Tulip table. Let's open the app in the editor and embed an analysis. This will be your chart. Click on Select an Analysis, choose your data source, and create an analysis. There are a few templates to choose from here, and we'll select the first one. On the left, we have some settings that let you define what information will be on the X and Y axes, what the default date range will be, and whether we want to have any filters built in. At the top, we have some display settings. Let's select Pareto chart. Our X axis will be defect type, and our Y axis will be the sum of quantity. On the top right are some more advanced features like alerting, layers, and formatting. This is where you can add chart layers such as control charting or forecasting to your analysis. Now that we've created our Pareto, Let's save the analysis and view it in the app. We can add filters to the analysis so that you can allow your app users to change which information is being displayed. For example, a dropdown can be used to filter by location. Whichever location is selected by the user will now filter the analysis. This is how you can create interactive and real-time data visualizations within your app. If you want to create a read-only dashboard that doesn't require the Toolip player, head over to the Dashboards tab and create a dashboard. You can add analyses to this dashboard from many different data sources. When you're ready, you can click Edit and Share to generate a read-only link that you can share with your team.